Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be a little bit crazy today. Because, you know, why not? I'm feeling a little bit adventurous. <laughs> I have picked three books that I was supposed to read for the series where I read 101 horror novels before I'm murdered, which, uh, you know, there were like three that for some reason or another I just skipped. But I am ready to read them now. One is like a decent size. The others are smaller. So my goal, my goal, my bravery is telling me that I want to finish all three of these in the next today and tomorrow in the next two days so that I can uh, have this video edited on Wednesday before we leave for our road trip slash camping trip slash beach trip. You know, we just take one trip that is hits all the boxes. But let me talk to you real quick. Today I'm going to be focusing on cleaning. I mean, I don't really have to clean. My room is, pr I mean, my house is pretty clean because I've been doing really good. Knock on wood. Uh, let's see. There we go. But uh, I did get this. Hold on. Let me show you. I got this little pink case and I think I'm going to put like my art supplies in there which means that this shelf will be free because right now it's just a hot mess of everything and then this shelf or the drawer set will go where the shelf is and this shelf will be available to put in a kid's room uh, I'm hoping to get two kids rooms set up because I am going through the fostering process and today uh, my social worker said that she's going to be calling all of our references so I'm like okay hopefully people you know think that no no it'll it'll be fine I'm good but I'm going to try and get this reading vlog in before we leave if for some reason I get it done like I don't know it might not come out till towards the end of July but right now is July 1st so I'm hoping that July 1st and July 2nd I can finish all three of these books so let me talk about them with you I'm just gonna sit down and set you up right here, maybe. There we go. Okay, I do not like that. Ugh, let's see. Oh, you know what? That actually kind of works. So, <laughs> so, our three books uh, that I skipped. Just, I mean, most of the time I just wasn't really feeling it at the time, but for the ghost vlog, which I'll link up above or down below, I was supposed to read Heart Sheet Box by Joe Hill. I didn't really want to read another ghost book. I wasn't feeling it, but I feel like I could get through this fairly quickly. Uh, this is the biggest book that we have on this list. It's almost 400 pages, so that's okay. I don't really know a lot about it. Uh, aging death metal rock legend Judas is a collector of the weird, a cookbook for cannibals, a used hangman's noose, a snuff film, but nothing he possesses is as unique or as dreadful as his latest purchase off the internet. A one-of-a-kind curiosity that arrives at the door in a black heart-shaped box. A musty dead man's suit. 
still inhabited by the spirit of its late owner. Okay, cool. Then I also want to read The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Um, I don't know if that one is one that I was supposed to read or if it's coming up in the 101 books horror books to read before you're murdered but I know that it's in there and I was gonna read it for Summerween but I won't be in town for Summerween so I'm just gonna read it now uh it's like the OG haunted house story and then I was supposed to read let me let's go there we go I was supposed to read the switch house by this author I think his name is Jeff or John I don't know but by this author I own it on Kindle it's very very short and I had intended when I made the haunted house reading vlog I had intended to read it but I just didn't get around to it so I'm thinking how we're gonna do this is heart shaped box I'm going to start I actually have an audiobook of that one so I'm gonna start that while I'm working then later when I take a break I might finish it physically but for right now the audiobook sounds really good I always test the audiobooks before I come on here because there are some audiobooks that just don't work for me uh, then I think I'm gonna try and read my Kindle book which is the kill house the kill switch the the switch house the switch Ooh, I'm not entirely sure but this book and then we're gonna read the haunting of hill house and that one I might have an audiobook to help me and I might read physically and with the audiobook uh, I also have to get some editing done so that I have stuff coming up while I'm out of town because at this point I leave in two days and I don't have stuff filmed so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the top five Wednesdays. Uh, those ones I don't edit at all. I just film them, splice them together with my intro, and they're done. They're super easy. So I might do some more like discussion type videos for the two weeks that I'm gone. It's not even going to be a full two weeks, but I just want to make sure that I don't have to come. See, we get back on the 14th, which is a Sunday, and I usually have videos come up on Monday. I don't want to have to get back to town like Sunday evening or Sunday night and then be stressed out about filming and editing before Monday. So I'm going to try to do that but for right now while I'm reorganizing some stuff over there and getting my ugly pink drawer set, set up uh I will be listening to heart shape box you guys I found my troll like I've literally been looking for this guy for months I guess I put him in my box that had all my bookmarks and all my bookish stickers which actually really makes sense because it's for my booktube channel <laughs> like my bookish stuff but when I was so I moved the shelf and I'm setting up my pink little drawer set uh, <laughs> I found him so for August ooh, yeah for August TBR now we have our little troll and all my different games that I have played. I'm going to put those in that drawer set too. So maybe at the end I'll show you what's going on in my drawer set. Sure. It's just like different hobbies and things. But I'm so excited. I, I had to share. So I am like 28 pages into Heart Shape Box by Joe Hill. It's good so far. I mean, I don't really have an opinion. He found Judas found this uh, thing that was recommended for him. It's like this suit 
that uh, his daughter, uh, not Judas's daughter, but the seller's daughter. Okay, the seller of the suit thinks that her dad lives in the suit and like his spirit is still in it. So he was on this website and it recommended that he buys this suit that her dad lives in and like that his spirit is in and uh he's like that's weird I've never bought anything from this site and everyone's like are you sure because that seems like something you'd buy and so he's just like okay and you know he kind of like thought about it for a day or two and then he's like yeah I want to buy it so he bought it and now the suit arrived in this heart-shaped box and they nothing else has happened yet so I think it might start to get creepy but it's fine it's an easy listen so far I'm gonna finish working on this and then I will come back to you and uh, show you what's in there and also update you more on this if I get a lot further from the other side no I'm just kidding uh, <laughs> I have to update you on heart shaped box by Joe Hill and I'm very sorry to say that uh, I'm DNFing it uh, so here's my biggest issue with this uh, first off Judas, Judo, Judas, his name was Judas, uh, very unlikable, like, not even just unlikable, just a horrible human, which, fine, whatever, it's a horror novel, uh, it's a horror novel, so maybe you're not supposed to like him, fine, I can get past that, uh, the first hundred pages, super creepy love the setup hated the main character but like I said I can get past that to an extent but <sighs> light spoilers I guess I think um 
Judas called his girlfriend who killed herself a psycho. And he said that anyone that commits suicide, uh, you know, he, he just said suicide makes you a psycho or something. He just made me uncomfortable about it. And as someone who used to struggle with her mental health a lot, uh, I did not like what he was saying and uh to call someone who committed suicide yes it's a fictional book didn't really happen but to call them a psycho that's like I don't know that's very much not okay with me it just made me uncomfortable it sickened me and yeah I do I am reading a lot of different horror books and sometimes they sicken you and are disgusting but there's something about the way that it was portrayed portrayed that like I can't I just I just can't I'm not comfortable with it I can't uh so I will be putting this up on Pango I'm I'm so sorry that I'm DNFing it but I don't, I wasn't really jiving with the writing either. Uh, very much reminiscent of Stephen King. Like, this is his son. And you can tell with his writing style. Uh, they're very much similar. And, like, I have a love-hate relationship with Stephen King. So, I feel like Joe Hill might, you know, his writing style might be, like, a love-hate thing. In this book, it was a hate thing. I hated the main character. I, mm, I can't stand. I, I can't read. <sighs> I don't know. Mental health is like a real problem in the world. And I just feel like it was like glazed over like, oh, she committed suicide. So she's a psycho. Like, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just it made me super duper yeah i just i just can't with that book i just can't. okay i am going to start reading the switch house by tim meyer on the kindle actually it's on my computer but i have it through kindle i would really like to find my kindle at some point but it's been gone for like a year Huh, maybe I should just get myself a new one. Um.
just finished this witch house by Tim Meyer I believe uh whoa this one was really good because like I couldn't tell if everything was in her head or if there was really a demon possessing people around her and like the mirror was out to get her not the mirror but the mare like the nightmare does that make sense it was out to get her or was she just crazy I think I'm gonna have to give that one four stars it was way better than I expected uh but for some reason when I was trying to read it with my eyes it wasn't working like I wasn't liking it but as soon as I tried the audiobook like I was immersed in this world and it was terrifying I loved it five stars four stars four I think this one's more like a four star but it was really enjoyable hundred pages into the haunting of hill house by shirley jackson okay here wait okay this is better i am a hundred pages into the haunting of hill house by shirley jackson and uh, i don't like 
classic horror novels, I don't think. Which scares me because I have another classic on my TBR for this month. That's also a horror novel. Uh, I'm really picky about classics anyway, but the problem with this one for me is that it's like, it's telling me, this can sound weird, but it's like telling me a story. You know when you go camping and people tell scary ghost stories or whatever? Uh, that's what it feels like, but it feels like I'm 90 degrees I'm like two degrees removed from the story because it's not actually happening and it's just like they're telling me about what's happening not showing me so I just am not enjoying this I only have 82 pages left though so I kind of I want to finish it but I feel like this reading vlog was a failure because I didn't like anything I'm, I'm just really not enjoying it I mean I liked the switch house but it was complicated and weird and I guess that's what I like but it felt like a psychology thing like is it all in her mind or was she really going crazy or was there a demon that was trying to take over? Did she kill those people? Like, there are still so many questions with the Switch House. And I think that's why I enjoyed it. This one just feels, like, very lackluster to me. Like, they're just talking and talking and talking. And I don't really care about any of the characters. So I don't care about the story at all. So I feel like this was kind of bad because we read three books and I only liked one of them, but I really, really loved The Switch House. So uh, I'll update you when I'm done. It's only 82 more pages. I can do that. Right? 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 Good morning. I finished The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. I didn't love it. Um, <sighs> Here's the thing. I didn't think I would like it really because I'm not a huge, I'm really picky about my classics. I'm just really picky in general. Uh, this felt very conversational. It was very like, oh, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm never gonna show you anything scary, but I'm gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna tell you. Oh, did I mention, can I tell you about some scary stuff that happened, happened at, on Hill House? <sighs> so I will be putting this one on Pingo as well. I, I think I'm gonna give it two stars. Because there were parts that were kind of scary, like mid-level scary, but generally it was just like, I'm in talk, you're going to listen, you're going to be scared. I'm in talk some more, you're going to listen, and you're going to be scared. Editing Alita popping in to uh, <laughs> fix a couple of things that I forgot to do. So, we're going to start with the Switch House. I forgot to show you and talk to you about why it was picked. And we're going to figure out if I agree or not. But, uh, the Switch House, spoiler. I mean, not really a spoiler. You already watched the reading vlog. Uh... <laughs> was my favorite of the three books that we read. So, she realizes she's looking the elements of space and time in the face, and her mind feels like a cheap piece of glass ready to break, ready to crumble, ready to cut and draw blood. The Switch House is the book that opened my eyes to the talent pool 
within the self-published market. Ooh, okay, so it's self-published. That's awesome. About halfway through my reading experience, I realized I had unlocked a new level in my quest to read everything the genre had to offer. This is a slick, lean, and mean novella. I agree. With virtually no wasted space here, as Meyer intentionally streamlined the story to pack a violent punch. My recommendation to make sure you have the time to read this in one sitting because you're not going to want to put this down. Meyer expertly develops a small cast of characters in a matter of a few pages and then throws down the gauntlet. The horse stack up at an unrelenting pace, each fresh scare building the tension to the perfect climax. I was legitimately fright frightened 30% into the book, and I knew it had the potential to make me not want to turn the lights off or forget to close my closet door. This story is original with powerful twists and turns. I agree with the powerful twists and turns aspect as well. I immediately wanted to read it again so as I finished to see if I missed anything. The Switch House is fast and fierce, probably the best example of how shorter works of fiction are so effective at maintaining horror tension all the way through. So it says A Hill House, okay. Girl Power, Mystery, Haunted House. I think Demon Possession, Twisted. Themes, reality TV and TV stars, home, nightmares, delusions, reality therapy, perceived reality, marriage, hallucinations, murder, pregnancy, miscarriage, and love. So I didn't want to read this one because of the reality TV portion of the book, but it didn't deter my enjoyment for this book even though it had one of my least favorite, like, tropes as far as, like, reality TV or f following stars or reality. You get it, I think. Tone, blood-soaked, brutal, menacing. Style, brisk pacing, character-driven, cinematic, and... It's set in New York, and it was indie published. I did not realize it was indie published, but that's fine. It didn't, like, I had no idea. It was really, really good. Okay, then we're going to move on to, I'm just going to talk about The Haunting of Hill House real quick. It's, there's not a page for it. It was just recommended by two of the authors and if I can figure out which two they should be right there um if I can't I mean I will be able to when I look at it oh okay so Christopher Bolleman was the first one and then there's one other author who recommended The Haunting of Hill House and that is why I read that one and the last book that I read for this reading vlog was, oh, the Joe Hill one. When I get to that page, I will lay, I'll be right back. Now we're going to talk about Heart Shaped Box, which I ended up DNFing. I didn't finish that one. Yeah, DNFing. He understood that the ghosts exist first and foremost within his own head. Then maybe ghosts always haunted minds, not places. So I am not going to read all that because I don't agree that, like, it's. it says that I recommend it because it's the scariest book ever, but I didn't think it was scary. I thought it was really boring. So, themes. Cursed objects, rock stars, celebrities. That's probably a big reason I didn't like it. I don't like celebrity, like, mm -mm. unless it's, like, nonfiction <laughs> and the celebrity wrote it themselves. 
oddities, the internet, vengeance, pure evil. Tone is blood-soaked, disturbing, gruesome. And style is brisk pacing, character-driven. I also don't like a lot of character-driven books. I mean, I guess that's not entirely true. I do. But I'm more of a plot-driven reader than I am a character-driven reader. But there are exceptions to that rule. Uh, it's in upstate New York, and the publisher was William Morrow, but I hated that book. And, uh, now we are done with this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.